Welcome back to Meat Revival. Where are we at today, Mike? Today we're in Pensacola, Florida. Man, that's a little ways away from Arkansas hey, and yeah. North Alabama. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is quite a drive down here. But we're down here to see Kevin and Jordan Green at the butcher shop. Uh, Y'all come on in with us. This is going to be exciting. This is going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. So, so we're at the butcher shop here in Pensacola, Florida. Uh, you know, I've heard about these guys for years now, and this is the first time we actually get to do it face to face. Uh, so, we don't do this professionally, and you guys all know that, but these are professionals right here. I wish you could have heard the stories when we first walked in here because we probably can't go back and get them, <laughs> but I'm telling you, we had some laughs out there. So this is the Greens, Kevin and Jordan, and what we're gonna do for you now is we're gonna show you their whole shop out here. We're back in the cooter section right now. And right now we're gonna go in and show you what they do when you order an A9 brisket. Is that correct? An A9, is that what we're yeah, gonna look at yeah, today? Yeah. A9 brisket, uh, you know, Compar ribs, Allegiance ribs, uh, Compar butts, Allegiance butts, you know, any and all barbecue needs you guys need. Uh, we hand pick, we ship, and we're gonna go through that process wait, wait. now. Hand pick. Hand pick. You hand pick. pick. Hashtag <laughs> hand pick. Hashtag always hand, always pick. hand pick. So you know, y'all have seen stuff around the web on this stuff. Always hand pick. What does that mean? You might hear a lot of companies saying, "Oh, we're hand picking stuff." These guys are actually hand picking products when you guys call in and order it. And, and for me, that that really says a lot about a company that they're spending the time, whether you're ordering one brisket or a hundred briskets, right. they're going through them. To find the best for you. Okay, so so who are you handpicking for? You know anybody that orders. There anybody, you go. Everybody. Anybody that orders. And one thing I want to make clear: we're handpicking based on exactly what competitors need. Okay. We're not handpicking in a sense of I need a 14 to 16 pound brisket, and here you go, 13.99, and yeah. it's thin, and there's <laughs> no marble to it. Or I need five racks of ribs and here you go here's a couple shiners and you know a couple right. bones that swing to the left no when you <laughs> order from us and you get hand picked you we talk to you on the phone and we get your needs met hey jordan i like to cook a rib with a shorter bone that's thick across with no shiners and i need six racks you got that coming jordan i need a brisket that's anywhere between 15 and 17 pounds i want it to have a thick flat i don't like to cut on the bias and i know it's got to have marble wow hey i got that coming so, so we're going to dive into that okay so what, anybody can call you and say here's what i want and you're going to see that that's what they get oh hands down it does me we say this all the time how's the phrase go boss does it's no good to ship you one brisket we hadn't helped anybody yeah, it doesn't, right. it's a long-term relationship for us. There it is, go. it is. We, we, like Boss said earlier out there during story time, we gotta get sleep at night, <laughs> so we have to know that every piece of product we ship is competition worthy, you can compete with it, and while we do refunds, I do not want someone to call me and say, <laughs> hey, you sent me bad product, reship product. If there's an emergency, if UPS gets held up with their shipping, we'll obviously make that right, we'll make anything right, but nine times out of 10, when you order from us, the product shows up competition worthy, there are no issues with it, and the only question you have for me is, how soon can I get another box? So, so this has to cost them something, doesn't it? Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, we've got, you know, we've got the price set on the A9s, we've got the price set on all the product and stuff. When it comes to the shipping, but, we'll obviously- But, but the picking. The picking costs them something. Oh, right? oh yeah, boss feeds me a meal every night. <laughs> yeah, boss, yeah. So, so wait, you're, you're telling me that I can call you up, tell you what I need for a contest, and you're just charging me the cost of the meat. So, yeah, I mean, and the shipping and that yeah, piece. Yeah. yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I get paid and boss gets paid to run this business and to do our job. Hand picking the product, spending time with you on the phone, talking about the specs and what you need, uh, you know, to compete in barbecue. That you can't put a price on. You couldn't You couldn't pay someone, anyone. I tell the story all the time. You can find the best meat cutter or the best cook in the world. And, you know, a company. Hey, we got all that right here. <laughs> you can hire them and he will not know what competitors need to cook with because he has not walked through the mud with you guys. Well, he hasn't walked through the swamp at Smoking in the Square that's coming up, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah. plug there. But no, they, no one understands what you guys need like we do 
not because we take the time to talk to you, not because we carry the great product, but similar to Dave Busca, we know what we're doing. We're the experts in this field, and we know what you guys need to compete with. Talking about shiners, talking about blowouts on the ribs, talking about gash marks earlier, talking about cutting right. on the bias, you know, these are all things that you can't put a price tag on. And the only way you can get that is finding a company or the person with the passion and the drive to say, hey, I know what you need. Yeah, right. I know what you don't right. need. I'll go through every effort I have to make sure that happens. So again, no price you can put on that. I get paid with food. I, I, I can say looking at some of the names up on the wall here, we're not going to say who's up there. <laughs> I, well, yeah. <laughs> okay, let, me, let, me, let me ask this. So, so people that are watching this channel right now, they're thinking, okay, so so I got to be a competition guy to get this cut of meat from these people down here. What about what about the guy that's just, you know, I mean, he's just your backyard sure. cook. And you, you know, they're critical to us. Um, it's a growth section for us, uh, shipping to the backyard guys, guys like Jordan and I that know a lot about meat but don't cook a lot. And if you think about it, um, they're vital to the whole process because, um, we take the briskets, uh, Monday we have 50 cases, 150 briskets coming in. We know out of those 150, 30 to 40 of those, we can't ship the competition. So Jordan deems them non-coms. We sell the competition A9, 10.99 a pound every day. Um, we sell the non-comp at 8.99. It's a great brisket, same trim spec, same marble score. I just can't ship it to you to compete with. Maybe it's not thick enough, maybe it's not wide enough but it's still the best brisket in the world. Right. And the backyard guy can pay $8.99 a pound for that non-comp, and he can be the king of this cul-de-sac for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, Without a doubt. Yeah. And that's what I'm talking about. Sure. I mean, because, yeah. you know, it, it's not just, you're not just a competition. You're a full service sure. meat market sure. here. Yeah, you, exactly. you're, you're helping the guy that's just cooking for his family, and you're helping the guy that's cooking for a world championship. Absolutely. You know, to, to take it one step further, how many of us have seen the advertisements or the videos on uh, companies now that they prep the food for you, mm -hmm. they box it all up, and all you have to do is get on a monthly subscription yep. plan <laughs> and get a, get a pot and a pan yeah. and then cook all this stuff, okay? And the thing that I cringe at whenever I see that or I hear about that is you lose all the fun. It's lackluster. There's yeah. no, so, so again, while, you know, big barbecue competitors, backyard barbecue competitors, for somebody who's not local, that wants to get great product, wants to be the king of his cul-de-sac, wants to show out for his family, wants to get that really good hands-on time. We spend the same amount of time with them that we do with everybody. There you go. So if you've got somebody who can't find Wagyu in their area, Wagyu tri-tips, uh, Wagyu picanha, um, the, you know, the world's best brisket in these A&Is, or whether it's, you know, a dry aged pork chop or, you know, the Allegiance, anything and everything that we sell and we carry, we'll sit down down, we'll spend the time with you. We might give some recommendations on how to cook it, but we'll always push people to this website, uh, anybody, and say, well, go watch the pros cook. Right. We know the proteins, we know what you need, and we'll get you covered on that. But when it comes to the cooking, you got to talk to these guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. Well, and, that, and that's what's good to hear, you know, that, that everybody's treated the same. Sure. Oh, it's, hands it's, down. it's not, you know, okay, you just walked in, you know, you're going to get this. Oh, well, that's so, so and so. Well, he's going to get this one. It's like, you're treating everybody the same, and that's what we like to see. Yeah. Customers are customers. We're fortunate with some of the teams we have, um, but that goes all the way through the spectrum. Uh, you call for a brisket to get shipped out Monday, um, you're our top priority. So everybody's eating. Very, Very good. good. Very so good. can you kind of walk us through how you, how you pick something for someone? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So what we'll do, um, we what we basically do uh we'll start with the briskets and then we'll kind of dive into the pork um but it, it definitely is a back and forth with me and boss um nine times out of ten what happens uh boss will give me a list or boss will uh tell me hey look you know we got x amount of briskets going out and then i'll kind of go through uh and, and pull them out and uh based on what i see i'll deem this non-comp or this one to the side and then i'll take the best and kind of move them um you know, Dad, why don't you tell them a little bit more about the picking process, and I'm going to go get some brisket. Okay, sure, sure. So, um, throughout the week, and, and Monday, that'll, that'll intensify, but throughout the week, we'll get called. People will call us, 850-458-8782. Uh, They'll send us a message on our Facebook page. Um, after they've ordered once or twice, or before they've even ordered, they probably have my cell phone, Jordan's cell phone. We'll just develop a list um, for that next Monday shipping. Um, and then throughout the week, we'll just look at them, um, see what we have going out, make sure we have the right sizes, 
Um, you know, Jim Elder with Sweet Smokes going out Monday. Uh, Lee Tillman, you know, we probably got about 10 or 12 uh, different guys at this point going out Monday. And then we'll just start pulling them out and we'll just start sorting them based on uh, their size uh, recommendations, what, they, what they're looking for. Uh, and yeah. then now these guys you're talking about, they're competition cooks. Competition cooks. And they, yeah. they have, they're calling you and saying, this is what I need. They're going to give you all the spec that they, right. they want. Yep. And then that's what you're going off of. That's what we're going off so, of. So in, individual person, just because he's a competition cook, they're not all going to cook the same, right. the same type exactly. of brisket. Sure. So, uh, and, and I want to back up just a second if I can. We're talking about A9, A9. briskets here. Can can you kind of run through the process real quick? I live in rural Arkansas, sure. So I don't have I don't have a nine readily available. So so most of the time, you know, you're looking at a choice. You know, I got select a choice. Kind of give me that grading. Sure. How you get to this level of brisket from what people normally see in their grocery store? No, normally, in a traditional grocery store, you'll see select. In your better grocery stores, you'll see. Um, Choice and, and select is the bottom. Select would be the bottom, short of short of no roll or ungraded. Right. Um, typically, don't see much of that. So select. <laughs> then you've got choice. Uh, then you've got upper two thirds choice, and you'll see that in the better supermarkets. And then like Costco and, and, and some of your top tier um, butcher shops, you'll see some problems. Okay. Um, and then that's basically where it's going to stop domestically, historically. Yeah. Um, you'll see some, now you'll start seeing some domestic um, Wagyu. Um, and, and then when you're talking about Australian Wagyu, they're going one to nine. So okay, an so, so the American Wagyu and Australian Wagyu, there's a difference in. There, there definitely is. There, there definitely is. You know, we've been carrying this brand of Australian Wagyu for about 12 years. Okay. Uh, we've tried everything domestically. We've tried um, a lot of the Australian. We, heck, we even carry Japanese Wagyu steaks. Um, but this particular A9, the top score full blood, full bread, is the best we've ever seen. Okay, now when you say A9, that's a grading system. Yep, one out of nine, these are all nine plus. One out of nine. One out of nine. Okay. One out of nine, nine the, being the highest. The biggest difference for us and these A9s is this section right here, this deckle fat that's off. That's um, better. Yeah. You know, that's a four to six pound swing of fat that will be on the prime and be on the choice. It'll be on any of your um, other Wagyu. So this, this brisket weighs how much right here? 17 pounds. So we would say this is equal to a 23 pound traditional packer. You're so, just not paying for the fat. Just not paying for the fat. Just not paying for the fat. So, so this, this deckle fat right here, I, I cook two cases of brisket a week, you know, and, and typically on a on a case of brisket, I I trim off 20, 25 pounds. Sure, sure. You know, and, and it all adds up. It does. <laughs> into, into the cost of the food business, it's crazy. I mean, the, the guys that are cooking this in competition, they're going to do away with that anyway. It's going to go in the trash. Yeah. You, you can't even repurpose it. I mean, here is, um, I mean, that's a... 12 and a half pound brisket. You might say, man, that's awful small. I couldn't cook with that. But if I put six pounds on here of fat that you're gonna take off, it's an 18 pound brisket. The difference is you pay 12, 12 pounds for it, right. not 18. Yeah. It's gonna equate to the same. That's a two knuckle thick brisket right there. People that are gonna watch this video, they're you should just go into the grocery right. store and getting whatever, and they think, oh man, that thing weighs 22 pounds, I'm getting that one. You know, you know and, and if that's what you want, then that's what you need to get. Exactly. But, but all of these have a purpose, you know, a specific purpose. You know, this is, this is a competition grade brisket here. It's the right. best you can buy, you know. And if you want that for your backyard, for your, you want to be king of the grill this weekend, then that's what you buy. If you want just to buy the other one, then buy the sure. other one. You know, it all, it's all about what you want to do with it, what's the end result you want out of it. Yeah, exactly. If, if, I, if I want to go and cook and win the American Royal, right. I'm not going to go to Walmart and get a select sure. brisket. <laughs> you know? 
I, I'm gonna go there and pay 50 bucks for a brisket and, and take my chance to get 500 other people to go. I'm not. You know, you know, I'm going to come here and I'm going to do this. And you, and you bring up a good point. You know, when we when we look at barbecue as a whole, and when we look at the cost of cooking, the cost of travel, and this, that, and the other, I think one big misconception that's been brought up fairly recent is the cost of product, and particularly the cost of brisket. And and I'm here to tell you personally that there's no one out there who looks out for our competitors from a monetary standpoint than Kevin and Jordan from the butcher shop. I there's, believe you're there's right. There's no one out there who's going to make right. your dollars stretch further, who's going to get you the best product, and always try to save you the most money. I understand it's a, it's a you know, it, it's obviously not a cheap copy, and it's obviously <laughs> not a cheap, you know, adventure, but I think the, the big misconception that I've heard over the last couple of weeks is, you know, cost me, cost me, cost me, cost me. And again, it's not cheap. It's not cheap, and I'm not taking anything away. And there are, you know, there's people who cook because they want to be number one. There's people who cook to have a good time. And I'm yeah. here to tell you, no matter if you cook one comp a year, five comps a year, or 35 comps a year, if you're gonna cook and you need good product and you're a competitive pro, you know, or backyard cook, I'll make your dollar stretch the furthest. I'll always be transparent and honest with you. And I'll always make sure, no matter what you buy from me or from anyone else, you have the same knowledge I have, and you have, you know, the fighting chance of winning as the next person. We yeah. treat everybody the same. We won't put one person above the other. But the last thing I'm gonna do is send you products you can't cook with, or tell you you gotta buy this to win. I'll make sure everybody stands a fighting chance to take a walk and take a call. Yeah, any comp they cook. That's cool. Well, you know, you know the old adage, you get what you pay for. I, yeah. I think you can really see that with this. I mean, yeah, yeah. Because you really are getting what you pay for. The waste is less. The sure. the, the quality with having that hand pick. Well, I mean, you, yeah. you can't I mean, beat it, that. It, it, what, they, what they got here is just, it's cream of the crop. I mean, this is not just your, go to the grocery store and pick it up, you know, and you, you're not going to, it costs more to do that, you know. Um, I, I tell you, this has been very eye-opening for me to come down here and to see this. I'm sure for Kevin. Too, yes, definitely. Uh, to, to know that we've known about you guys ever since you started this program down here, you know, and it, and it's very refreshing for us to come and see and see what the excitement that especially Jordan has with this. I mean, just watching hey, him talk you about it. Up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad says, or no, excuse me. Boss says, you know, <laughs> this is, but, and he turned it over to Jordan. He said, he's the guy that, oh, yeah. you know, that makes it happen. Uh, he, he's the backbone of our business, especially on the competition side, but on the retail side as well. I get a lot of the credit, but he's the guy that picks the orders. Yeah. He's the guy that's built our reputation um, on service and honesty and, um, you know, he, he's, he's basically our company in terms of our reputation. You know, we're talking about briskets here. You never know who's going to show Look up down guy. here. <laughs> Mike Richter. Right, Chick swine and bovine. Chick swine and bovine. Good to see you. Good to see you. Shopping briskets. Shopping briskets. Shopping they're, just, briskets. They're, they're giving us all our uh, uh, a number one class in brisket picking and why they do, what they do, how they do it. These folks are just awesome here. You can't beat them. I'm blessed to live here. Yeah. To be able to come over you here. Are. You are. You're blessed to have the wife you've got. Right. <laughs> get, get caught me, but it's just to get food for the house. You know, it's, it's and, and that's exactly what we were just talking about. You know, it doesn't have to be a competition cook to come down here and buy from the butcher shop. They got everything down here. You, you name it. And it doesn't matter if you're a competition. They treat everybody like royalty. You know, and that's what that's what Jordan has just preached this, this during this interview. It's like it doesn't matter, you know, if you're just walking off the street or you just won the American Royal. We're going to treat you all the same. If, if stand in the corner and watch when people come in the door. I'm here a lot. It doesn't matter whoever's coming in that door. How you doing? What can we do for you? Yeah, and we saw that standing out front talking earlier. Everybody that came in, have a good day. Be safe out there. How you doing? Can I help you with anything? Rick is not lying. He's here a lot. He, yeah. We put him to work every that's time he comes in. He doesn't know. That's because Barbara kicks him out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to him.
but, but yeah, the, I mean, again, um, you know, whether it's briskets, whether it's ribs, whether it's pork, whether you're a professional barbecue cook, or whether you're somebody who doesn't have the luxury of uh, Richter and, and live close and you're somewhere out of town or out of state. Um, you can ship to them. We Absolutely. can ship, yeah. We can look at, we can get your zip code. We can find out where you are, how, how many days it is to ship what a cost to ship might be. Again, we're not here to make money on shipping, so there is really no added revenue So you're just cost passing the shipping yeah, cost along. Yeah. And on, on the phone or over Facebook with my dad, my dad does the Facebook page. Um, obviously, I'm here at home, so I'm two places. Um, so you can call up here and get a hold of me, or you can go on Facebook and talk to my dad. Um, but again, you know, we'll tell you what the cost of the shipping is up front, um, you know, with the, with the zip code and everything like that. We'll give you an estimated cost on the product. Um, and like I said, whether it's barbecue related, whether you're just looking to cook, um, we're your we're your meat experts. You know, we are your meat needs, and um, and we can always get you guys the education, the knowledge, what we have. And if we can't, if we don't have it for you, but you're looking for something, we can either get it in or we can dial it dial it into where you can find it. Yeah. Um, you know, but the, at the end of the day, I think we both. Um, you know, we love what we do. We have the passion for it. And, you know, I'm I'm blessed to be able to have a father who's you know, built, you know, a business like this and given me the blank canvas to kind of come in and, you know, meet everybody else's yeah. needs. And, uh, yeah. you know, I mean, we, it surely takes the two of us. I know it that. Does. It does. Well, I got to, I got to tell you, this, this has been very informative, uh, for Kevin and myself. We thank you guys for letting us come down here and oh, do this, Jordan. Thank you. It's been thank a you. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, I know you want Kevin, to something about me, thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, guys, we'll help you any way we can. If you need good recipes or, or how to prep the meat and cook it, check these guys out at Meat Revival. They, they do a great job. And, and it, it's our pleasure and, and we're honored to have you guys in here. Mike, you, you've been somebody that put barbecue on the map. And literally, without you, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing today. So it's, it's my honor and pleasure. That's to meet very you. kind. Thank yes, you very sir. much. Okay, guys, we're gonna go off and uh, see when we find somebody else. I don't know how we're gonna top this deal. <laughs> this has been great. Thank you again for Thank having you. us down here. We'll see you next time. Thanks for checking us out today on Meat Revival. If you like what you saw. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you can get all the latest updates. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. We'll see you next time.